Alrighty, I hereby call the order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 6.31 p.m. Our first order of business will be to approve the minutes of our last meeting, July 1st, 2024. I motion we approve the minutes of the last meeting. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of our last meeting, July 1st. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing, Jeff. All right. First up under new business, we have appoint assessors assist sorry assessors admin assistant. Yes, we have Nicole Bagan, uh, Nikki, Bagan. and um, we sat down with her and the assessors uh, last week for an interview. Um, got their recommendation, I think, on Friday. Um, anticipated getting it, so it was on the agenda, but. Um, yeah, no, I, I think that, um, you know, they were, they were really impressed. They thought that she would have no problem, um, you know, picking up the things that she might not know right now and has the, the customer service personality to, to be a great fit for Sandra. Wonderful. Great. Any questions, Dan? No. Crystal? I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome aboard. So, uh, motion to appoint? Uh, at the time, I'd entertain a motion to appoint. I motion we appoint Nicole Pagan as the assessor's assistant. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing, Jeff. Now welcome aboard. <laughs> welcome aboard. <laughs> and you're okay with the start date of next Monday or two Mondays? That's fine, yeah. She's available. Whatever they work out between them is fine <laughs> with me for a start date. Thank you. Yep. All right. Welcome. I'm sure I'll be talking to you. Thank right, you. That's it. You're done. That's it. <laughs> Super complicated. Lots of questions. Morning. I know. <laughs> Hope the rest is as easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we have a visit from our lovely state representative, Natalie Blay. Welcome, Natalie. Thank you for joining us. How are you? Lovely. Me. Wherever. Oh <laughs> right, you're okay. Sure. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give you guys. So I just printed out sort of where we are with the legislation that I have offer this session with the updates on where they are in the Thank process. You. If you're interested, you're welcome. Um, first, I was just up at Sunderland Park uh, for a dinner, steak dinner up there. And there was super smell, and it looks beautiful. The town park? Yeah. The landscaping looks awesome. That That's a nice I piece of property. Happens, but it looks really, really right. So I just wanted to say Excellent. kudos to whoever did that. I think the fire department. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. yeah. Um, so this is just the annual meeting that I have uh, with every select board in the First Franklin District. Um, we tried to do this a little bit earlier in the year, but just couldn't get our schedules together. Um, but it's really just an opportunity to hear from you about what's top of mind for the select board members, the town administrator. <laughs> Jeff has me on speed dial. Um, <laughs> So that seems on your mind, just to make sure that we're not being a reflective of what is important to you. I'd like to call of highlight from my perspective. Really, it's just not that we have several board on this business anyway, including every night, but in the health, a reflective of what is going to create a natural disaster reason, which are constantly and turns on your SSR, value that in its budget, and put us those any way out, including every in the house version of the budget, we're going to create a natural disaster reason, which are constantly and turns on your SSR, value that in its budget at $14 million. Uh, it made the, the funding would be available for municipalities, for small businesses like our Homer Ford is the sponsor on the set side, and spending the on the Senate natural disasters. So we're hoping that we'll make it through conference. It was not included in the Senate budget, but Senator Homer Ford is the sponsor on the set side, and spending the department on the Senate side. Uh, we were able to get rural school aid up to $15 million. Uh, so I know that that has been a real, it was about $17 million from the Senate side. So that has been a really big help for our rural schools. Um, we were also able to increase the per pupil uh, aid amount too. So that was helpful for, for rural schools as well. Um, we've been able to put more money into rural roads uh, using a formula that is based on mileage rather than the chapter 90 formula, which really does not help rural communities like Sunderland. So when we start putting money towards formulas that are more dependent on that roadway mileage. Our communities really see a boost in that transportation funding. Um, and this governor has been really supportive of rural communities to date. So it's been a real honor to be able to work with her and her team uh, to be able to really support our communities. So 
So with that, I'll turn it over to you. That's just a really quick hmm. overview. Lovely to see so many of these are being reported favorably out of committee. That's always lovely to see. Um, well, I guess one of the things I have more feedback uh, to the state legislature than anything else is um, I'm nervous what's going to happen this coming year with not necessarily this spring but the following spring uh, when we no longer have ARPA money to offset budget shortfalls. Mm -hmm. um, the last you know, four years, we've been able to use ARPA money to be able to pick up these things here. And I, I feel like it's hidden the true impact of the inflation on the towns over the last four years. And with that abruptly ending, and there not being any kind of state, let's pick up a little bit of that load kind of. Um, I just want to make sure that you all are aware that there's going to be some tight budgets across the state in 2025, 2026, and on. Yeah. Um, and hey, maybe the state could. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Shore yeah. up some of the funding to, to make up for that, but I mean, yeah, we put a lot of money into the school out of ARPA. I don't know yeah. if we have a exact total out of our ARPA money when it went that'd be a half a million school. or more. Yeah, I want to say it's about proportional to the it's probably budget. two thirds, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. So you know, the all these you know, we were so fortunate to have that money. And I just feel like especially the school, we're going to see yep. some shortfalls come out. Our boiler, not furnace, but. You know, we were so fortunate to have that money. You know, I just feel like especially. Yeah, and I appreciate you thinking about this. Um, and it's certainly you know, it's a very important thing. I mean, there's just more of again more feedback. I love how much of this is Western Mass specific, rural specific, food system specific. Um, these are all very important things to people in Sunderland and Western Mass. So um, it's good to see that they're your priorities also. Yeah, it's nice to have you know in the Western Mass delegation we all sort of specialize in, in different areas, and so it's wonderful to be able to lean on my other colleagues and for them to be able to lean on me and for us to support one another uh, in terms of the priorities that we each have. So we're really lucky to have such a strong delegation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, anything you want to? Just uh, thanks for your support for the uh, shared use feasibility yes. study funding we got. Very, That's very, exciting. very Yeah, excited stuff. And thanks, yeah. thanks, thanks so much for your support for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Crystal, anything you want to go over? No, I'm trying to like look through here real quick and see. <laughs> any, any sense on the ADUs? ADUs? Is that, do you hear, have you heard anything so about we'll that? See. I know I have your email. We're, there's, because they're working it out in conference committee right yeah. now, I yeah. didn't want to respond until Understood. we had something a little bit more yep. concrete. Good. Because it could pop out with the ADU provisions not included okay. at all. Sure. Um, so once we have that, let's circle back around to make sure we get you some more details. But Excellent. Or an actual answer rather than me just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Jeff, did you have anything? I just wanted to ask, um, I know that they're, the administration appointed a rural policy director and um, she holds weekly meetings that I attend and they've been great and I just wanted to know from the legislature, legislature's perspective, has I, Ann Gobi been involved? Like, has she been, okay, great. Yes. Good. She, so Ann Gobi is the state director for rural affairs, and she has been such a tremendous partner. And, um, you know, whether we we're talking about the housing bill or the economic development bill, the budget, uh, she's been on those calls and it has been really, a really helpful line of communication with the Healy Driscoll administration. I will also say that the governor's um, hiring of Kristen Ellico for the Western Mass office. It has been, Kristen has been another great partner for the legislature. And we've really seen a shift in the way that office works. Kristen has really you know, dug in and, and elevated the work of, that happens in that Western Mass office. So we have two new strong partners in Kristen and Ann Cody. Yeah. yeah, Kristen's great. I'm, I'm so glad that she's on a vision. I know, I know. <laughs> So when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, I have to worry about that. She's going to be up uh, at the state dinner tonight, too. She's coming up. Awesome. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much for coming. Absolutely. Um, we will good to see you all. Put, give did this uh, the attention that it deserves, and if you have any questions, yeah. we know how to get hold of you. you know how to reach are we yep. your last community? Not my last community. We've <laughs> done all 17 towns. Well, that's great. It's started over again too, right? <laughs> <laughs> you get a month off. <laughs> uh, but thank you all. Thanks for working with me and for your partnership. And please don't hesitate to reach out. When's your last day? Uh, next Friday. Are you having a party? No. <laughs> no. No. Just by myself. So. <laughs> Very sad. <laughs> I'm not sure if we call that a party. It's a pity party. <laughs> we call it drowning our sorrow. All right, good to see you all. Take have care. a great one. All right, next up we have our host community agreement. Do you want to give us a little background, Jeff? Yes. So um, we have, um, I think, Matt and John from Altai and Pete D'Agostino of uh, Model Community. We talked, we've been talking about this a little bit. I'll just go over it. We have a, a host community agreement that's based on the Cannabis Control Model Community Agreement. Um, a couple of amendments, uh, just preserving the right if the legislature changes their mind and we can collect community impact fees. Um, a requirement to be notified when Altai goes to renew or before they go to renew their license. So if the town does have impact, we have some time to um, to get documentation over to them before they submit their application. Um, but generally, it, it's based on the Cannabis Control Commission's model, so we're um, hopeful that they will approve of it. So I don't know if Pete or John or Matt, you guys had anything? Yeah, good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Jeff, thank you for having us. Uh, sorry to hear you're leaving. I didn't know until I saw the agenda. Uh, but uh, again, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, again, we, we were back before the board last fall in which the board voted to um, do the HCA. We were waiting on this model HCA, which believe it or not, didn't come out, I think, until March or April. I can't remember the exact date now. So it took some time to get, uh, get it to uh, the town. Uh, we've been working with uh, Jeff and town council. But um, so that's, I think Jeff did a good job of summarizing the background. But more importantly, I just wanted to turn it over to Matt and John, who you met last fall uh, we've shared all of uh, their direct contact information with the town so they'll be readily available should anybody in the town have questions uh, they've provided their cell phones and emails um, so if a board member or a town official or whomever um, needs anything uh, they're available so i just want to turn it over to them i think they want to say hello quickly and then certainly we're here for any questions the board may have yeah hello everybody great to see everyone again uh, we're very excited to be at this point uh, with the HCA, with the Town of Sunderland, and very excited to get involved with the Town of Sunderland. Uh, it's great to see everyone today, and I'll pass over my brother, John. Yeah, looking forward to working with you guys, and we appreciate the, where we're at right now. Um, but looking forward to potentially being in Sunderland. Great. Great. Thank you. Look forward to having you. <laughs> so when do you anticipate that you may actually open doors there? And uh, we submitted a timeline uh, just to highlight one to Jeff. We're really hopeful for uh, Q4 of this year. Uh, so we've started construction already. Uh, we demo the building owner is also the contractor. Uh, so that's always good because <laughs> uh, he has a vested interest in the building getting done quickly and getting the building open. Um, so we're saying Q4 to Q1, but uh, just because we don't want to um, overcommit and under deliver. But yep. we are actually hopeful for the fall. That's our internal goal is to open this fall. I think just with some of the unknowns, and I, I'm sure everybody's seen the news with the Cannabis Control Commission lately. So uh, we're building a little bit of a buffer there in, in the event that that holds anything up. But uh, yeah, we've started construction. The walls are coming down, dumpsters out there, and uh, we're moving forward. So we're going to be uh, meeting with some other folks in town, the Zoning Board of Appeals and others, just to give them an update. But. Uh, all, all as well so far, which is great, finally getting to this point. That's great news. Any else, Crystal? No, nope, I'm good. Oh, good. Any questions down? Cool. Um, thank you guys very much for working with us. I know, I'm sorry they've taken the Canvas Control Commission so long to get all of their pieces and, you know, and all the ducks in a row, um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, do you need us to vote on the Please. thing? Okay. At this time, I would entertain a motion to accept the host Commitment agreement as presented by Jeff. Hey, motion we accept the host community. I agree. So, Jeff has in our file. 
Second. Are you guys to submit with your app? No, it's just part of their new portal. Uh, so we'll update um, in their Postman portal. Uh, Copy. Do I need to send it to the CCC too, or are you guys to submit with your app? No, it's just part of their new portal. Uh, so we'll update um, in their Postman oh, right? So they will most likely send us both uh, you and I communication at the same time, letting us know if they agree with our host community. Uh, and Jeff, I'll just make sure I have a good email. I just still have right? So they will most likely send us both uh, you and I communication at the same time, letting us know if they agree with our host community. Then after the four sides it. Um, and then separately in part they handle the licensing matters. So uh, we just recently went through this with the city of Lynn just by way of background. We, myself and the city solicitor got an email at the same time saying we've accepted your host community agreement. We'll like to do that. We'll include obviously the town's planning commission and we'll, you know, in case we have to make sure it's under one. I, my experience is hopefully very quickly at the same time we are. Good email. Thanks. Anything else you need to you want to get in touch with me? Yeah, absolutely. Please for a couple weeks it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Appreciate it. At the same time we are. Good email. Have a good time. Hey, next on our agenda is assessing relationships. Have a good time. Thanks, everybody. Hey, next on our agenda is assessing contract relationships. No hurry. Uh, Steven, if you could identify yourself. Ah, okay. You are muted. I can't hear you. I just wanted to make sure you weren't a Zoom bomber. But it does not appear. <laughs> yeah, Steven, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, um, he was uh, from Gracious Greens. We oh, the okay. Gracious Greens team join us. Uh, but okay. we're all set. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. All right. Sorry. Uh, assessor's contract with Bishop and Associates. Yes. So um, we have a renewal contract. It's under ten thousand dollars. So we didn't um, have to go out to bid. Essentially, doing the assessing service um, for twenty five hundred dollars valuation um, for utilities of a thousand dollars, and then a per property fees for various inspections um, that the assessors will ask for um, keeping it under budget so uh, it's the same same amounts as uh, in previous years it has not gone up so um, I think that it and and the assessors were very have been very satisfied with um, Bishop and Associates work yeah. Crystal any questions no. Yeah. No. All right. Um, I'm assuming you want us to have a motion to approve the contract? Please. All right. I would entertain a motion. Motion to approve the contract with Bishop and Associates for assessing work. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded for the contract to approve the contract for Bishops and Associates for our assessing work. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Jeff? All right. We're just going to skip over that last one on new, on new business. <laughs> we don't like that one. So unfortunately, our last order of new business is Jeff has unfortunately tendered his uh, two-week notice to us. Um, this week and next week will his, be his last two weeks as our town administrator. Um, on behalf of myself and the board, I want to thank you for all of your years of service. Um, I would have would have hoped to lose more years of service because we love having you here. Um, but we understand that you have you know things to do and places to go. Um, but you've done a wonderful job. We're very appreciative. Sunderland's been very lucky to have you, and we do wish you the absolute best. Thank I'll, you. I'll second that. <laughs> All in favor? No. <laughs> <laughs> no I, I, I really appreciate it. I've loved working here. It's, it's been, I've learned an amazing amount um, <laughs> on such a variety of topics. Um, it, it's been incredible. So thank you all for, for having me, and thank you to, to the residents of the town. It's been great. So on that note, um, Jeff, you're putting out. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to be putting out. Let's see. We have an interim town administrator posted on the website already, and um, have talked to a couple people, talking to a few more who have already expressed interest. So that's a good sign. Um, I'll, if it's okay, I'll give you an update on all the open positions. Mm -hmm. that, so um, also going to post the Board of Health 
admin and, or sorry, board of health clerk and select board admin. Um, this evening, we've I've had people reach out already um, interested in e either or both. So um, we had talked internally about maybe splitting the positions. The Board of Health had some thoughts about maybe creating a full-time position or a shared position, um, but we got interest and I think given the amount of transition, uh, speed is, is a priority to get somebody in. So yep. we're gonna put it out. If we get good candidates, great. If not, um, you know, we can rework it fairly quickly and, and get it out again. What are the hours on each? Uh, the total hours or well, not? Split, the house house is broken. Um, so currently Board of Health is six yeah. and uh, select board 28, I think. Um, yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you. Yep. And then what makes up the rest of the time on that position? That is, that's, that's the time. It's so uh, it's only a 14 hour a week position. No, I'm sorry. Did I you said 28 and six, right? Yeah, that's weekly, right? Yeah. Oh, you said 28. I yeah. thought you said six and eight. Oh, and no. I was like, <laughs> no, no. Six and where's the, okay, <laughs> six and 20. No All right, I was trying to figure yeah. out how we go from 14 no to no yeah. got it. Actually, yeah, so obviously keep the board updated on yeah. all those. Um, I appreciate you shifting your priority to trying to replace some of the positions we're leaving so that we don't have gaps in the in the administration of our town. So thank you very much for that. Um, so that's it for new business today. Uh, up next is old business, select board updates. Crystal, do you have anything for us? Um, met with South County EMS. They're um, looking to hire some per diem. So we're actually meeting again tomorrow to go over um, some background check and hiring policies and stuff that need a little refreshing and that's about it for me. Wonderful. Dan? I don't know if I mentioned this. Did you talk about the feasibility study for senior center? Uh, no. That to come I know that, that just that, that's ongoing. Uh, they're looking at three buildings, one in each town. I don't remember the name, the way exactly the one in Whaley is, but it's the old it's Connery. The town office, it's for Sandy Lane. Old Sandy Lane is right. the building out the, the old Congregational Church in Deerfield. Yeah. Right? And, and, uh, and obviously the building we have. Yeah. Okay. What building here? Uh, the Plum Tree. Plum Tree. Oh, 20, okay. 23 Plum Tree. Yep. Gotcha. So that's ongoing. I don't know what the, I guess it'll take a, a couple, few months or, you know. Okay. So we'll see on that. Glad to hear that we're, the ball's still rolling on that. We're having a kickoff meeting this, this week with the consultant um, staff. Okay. Great. All right. Uh, I don't have anything particularly. Um, Jeff, any other town minister updates? Uh, just one. Um, I've been working with uh, some of the library trustees who applied for CPA funds uh, to do work at the Grayson Memorial Library. Um, we put out a request for uh, qualifications, got two responses. Um, been having trouble um, getting the references, getting in touch with the references, but um, met with with the the not the consultants, um, the library people, and they felt confident in recommending um, Clark Green and Beck. So, what I wanted to suggest that the select board award the contract to them contingent on references checking out and final negotiations. Um, so that we can move that process forward. Um, I hope to have those um, references done in the next two days. So. Any questions or discussion for me to you? No. Okay. At this time, I would entertain a motion to approve the contract to who was it again? Sorry. Clark, Clark Green and Beck. Clark Green and Beck. Um, contingent on the uh, background checks or the references or whatever it was that you were doing uh, are come back satisfactory. Motion to approve the contract for Clark Green and Beck, subject to uh, approval of references and background. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing, Jeff. Uh, Three. All right, Jeff, you. Anything else from you? Not from me, no. 
All right, next up under correspondence, we have a letter of support, paint recycling bill. Uh, we got a request from, I'll tell you, give us a little blurb. Yeah, um, originally the request was from the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District, and the idea is to create legislation. This has been done in other states, so we wouldn't be the first. Um, it's sort of a, like a deposit on your soda cans, but for paint cans. So you would pay like a dollar more for the paint, and then you could bring the paint can back to Home Depot or Lowe's to get it recycled. So if, I, I don't know about you, my basement is full of <laughs> gallons of paint. That I have nothing to do. So that's the idea is, you know, um, basically a way to recycle all the old paint and paint cans. Um, can we come back half full? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, and uh, <laughs> there any other kind? But wait, when you sent us the, the the email about it, I did a little bit of digging, and yeah, it's been done in a, a number of other states, um, and it has had fairly good success. And I think it's, I mean, yeah, I've got a pile of them in my basement also, and they're not easy to get rid of. So it'd be nice if there was a an easy program. And I think it does makes a certain amount of sense to put some of that onus on the retailers that are selling paint much like you do for canned uh, stop and shop and that kind of thing. All right. Um, I'm assuming you would like a motion to approve and send said letter. All right. At this time, I would approve a motion to send a letter of support to the paint recycling bill. I motion we send a letter of support for paint recycling bill. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Jeff? All right, that is it for correspondence. Uh, public comment, we have Aaron on the phone. Is that something that you had wanted to say, Aaron? Yes. Hi, I'm sorry I can't turn on my video. I'm only on a Chromebook this evening, and if I turn it on, it'll freeze. <laughs> but I just want to say, in light of the news of our town administrator's resignation, I just want to say, as a member of the Energy Committee, what a valuable partner he has been uh, to our committee. We admire truly his dedication to this town. He has responded to all our questions in a very timely and efficient manner and given us some very crucial feedback when we were perhaps straying off the proper path and he guided us back where we should be. And um, that type of guidance and support is invaluable. We will certainly miss Jeff here in Sunderland, but we wish him well in his next position, wherever that will be. So thank you so much for helping our committee and helping our town be everything it can be. Thank you, Aaron. And, and I mean, Sunderland is lucky to have an energy committee that's as dedicated and committed as this one. Um, just, yeah, it's very impressive. Thank you, Aaron. We, we feel exactly the same way. All right. Um, not seeing anyone else with their hand raised for public comment. Um, at this time, we are going to uh, move into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Paragraph 3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation. If an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigation position of the public body and the chair so declares, reopen meeting law complaint. When this is done, we will um, vote to come back into public se or pr open session and then vote to adjourn at that point. And you'll think you want to say something. Um, you probably in open session will want to vote to authorize to me to send the response to okay. once you've so, discussed it. Yeah, so when we come back into open session, we will vote to authorize, or not, depending on how that goes, um, the response to said open meeting law complaint. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Do we need to vote on going into yeah. executive session? All right. I motion we enter executive session. Uh, second. All right. And it's a roll call vote. So I, Nathaniel Waring. I, Crystal Drake Trampai. I, Dan Murphy. All right. 3 nothing, Jeff. Time is 7.02 p.m.